All right, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that were well. And a sincere salutation to the Akim pushing this truth in sincerity by Shemar Kakwadash. As I was meditating upon the lesson, it dawned on me how much deliverance we need from the hand of Okay. And what better place to go than the scriptures to read in the history what our forefathers did. Okay, and how the Heavenly Father always had compassion on them and delivered them. What does it say in Sirach uh, 2 and 10? Does it not say, look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in Yahweh by Shem Yashai was confounded? Or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken? Or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? Okay. Because the Heavenly Father, okay, he's going to deliver the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. So I was using the internet. All right. And I came across this scripture in Nehemiah 6. Oh, 9, I mean. I'm going to start in the 6th verse. But uh, I built a lesson around it. And there's a lot of history. So... You know, let's look at the generations of old and see, okay? Did ever any trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahushai was confounded? And the answer is no, but they were delivered. And just like today, okay, we need deliverance, okay? We, we are still in the hand of our enemy, okay? But Yahweh by Shem Yahushai is about to uh, deliver us. Okay, so I'm going to start in Nehemiah 9 and 6. There's going to be some reading, so let's get to it. It says, Thou, even thou, art Yahweh alone. Thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heavens, with all their host, the earth, and all the things that are therein, the seas, and all that is therein. And thou pre preservest them all, and the host of heaven worshipeth thee. Thou art Yahweh, the power, who didst choose Abram, and broughtest him forth, out of Ur of the Chaldees, and gavest him the name Abraham, and foundest his heart faithful before thee, and madest a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Jebusites, and the Girgashites, to give it, I say, to his seed, and hast performed thy words, for thou art righteous. Right? The Heavenly Father made a covenant, okay, with Abram. Okay, and then Abram, his name changed to Abraham, but he gave him a, uh, he, he made a promise that he would give him the land of Canaan. Okay, th th these are the generations of old. Okay, to who? To his seed, and hast performed thy words, for thou art righteous. Okay, now, real quick, let's go to the book of Genesis 17, okay, and see what it says and I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee and their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a power unto thee and to thy seed after thee okay so the heavenly father he promised Abraham okay he made a covenant okay and to his seed and their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a power unto us man and to thy seed after thee okay how beautiful is that? You know, we serve the living power. Let's see. This is Psalms 105 and 11. I just wanted to bring this point out. Psalms 105 and 8. He hath remembered his covenant. No, 7. He is Yahweh our power. His judgments are in all the earth. He hath remembered his covenant forever. The word which he commanded to a thousand generations, which covenant he made with Abraham and his oath unto Isaac and confirmed the same unto Jacob for a law and to Israel for an everlasting covenant. Right. He's our power, man. And he gave us the law, judgment, statutes and commandments. OK, through, through, through the holy seed, Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. It says, saying unto thee, will I give the land of Canaan the lot of thine inheritance. OK, now I was looking up. This, uh, the land of Canaan, real quick. It says, the promise was first made to Abraham, then confirmed to his son Isaac, and then to Isaac's son Jacob. 
the promised land was described in terms of the territory from the river of Egypt to the Euphrates River. Okay, so this is a picture. That's uh, what you would call present day Israel, you know. But the Lord, he gave us that land and he made a covenant, okay, with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, man, to the Israelites, okay, that he would be their power and he would give them what? The land of Israel, okay? But we are in captivity. Let's go back and read. Let's go back to Nehemiah 9. It says here. Thou, even thou art Yahweh alone. Thou hast made heaven, the heaven of heavens. Oh, Salakim. Hey, and foundest his heart faithful before thee, talking about Abraham, and made a covenant with him to give the land of the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Perizzites, and the Jebusites, and the Girgashites, to give it, I say, to his seed, and has performed thy words, for thou art righteous. Okay? And didst see the affliction of our fathers in Egypt, and heardest their cry by the Red Sea. Okay? And sheweth signs and wonders upon Pharaoh. And who's the modern day Pharaoh? Esau, Edom. Okay? And the Lord is showing signs and wonders now. So this is why we have to look to the scriptures, man. And look at the generations of old. And see that ever any trust in Yahweh Bashim Yashayim was confounded. You know? The Lord never despised anyone who called upon him. It says, And sheweth signs and wonders upon Pharaoh and all his servants. And on all the people of his land. For thou knewest that they dealt proudly against them. So didst thou get thee a name as it is this day. And thou didst divide, didst divide the sea before them. So that they went through the midst of the sea on the dry land. And their persecutors thou threwest into the deeps as a stone into the mighty waters. You see? So Yahweh Bashim Yashai... His name was known, okay, when he fought against the um, Egyptians and Pharaoh, okay? And what did he do to the enemies of Israel, okay, who he performed a covenant with, with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? What did he do to them, for them? It says right here, when they went through the midst of the sea on the dry land, their persecutors threw it into the deeps. As a stone into the mighty water. So the Yahweh threw. Okay. The Egyptians. Into the deep water. As as a stone into, into, the, into the mighty water. So they were cast into the deep of the sea. Like a rock. <laughs> you know. It says moreover thou lettest them in the day. By a cloudy pillar. And in the night by a pillar of fire. To give them light in the way wherein they should go. So Yahweh by Shimei Ashai. Okay. Led them through what? Through them chariots, them UFOs during the day and at night. They would give out a light. The UFO would give out a light. The so called UFO, the chariot would give out a light. Okay? And that led them in the way that where they should go. So Yahweh Bashim Yasha is gonna he's he's gonna he's gonna he wrought great miracles and he's gonna he, he do miracles even now. Okay, thou camest down also upon Mount Sinai and spake us with them from heaven and gave us them right judgments and true laws, good statutes and judge and commandments, and made us known unto them thy holy Sabbath and commanded them precepts, statutes and laws by the hand of Moses thy servant, and gave us them bread from heaven for their hunger, and brought us forth water for them out of the rock for their thirst, and that bread from heaven was um, manna, okay. And Exodus 16, he said he would rain um, bread from heaven to prove them, you know, because the Lord, even though He does miracles for us, he, he also does, He also proves us, man, you know. He also tests and tries to see that if we would believe in those miracles, man, okay. It says, it says, and brought us forth water for them out of the rock for their thirst. And that's in the book of Numbers 11. No, Salakia. That's not in the book of Numbers 11. My bad. No, that in the book of Numbers 11, that, that speaks about um, when they asked for, for, for flesh. They wanted meat, and the Lord gave them quail. Okay? 
but uh I'm not too sure I forget at, at the moment it escapes me where where um what chapter in the scriptures that they asked for water and the Lord st uh, st struck um two times the stone and water came out but nonetheless all right this is what Yahweh Bashem Yahshai did okay and brought us forth water for them out of the rock for their thirst and promised them that they should go in to possess the land which thou hast sworn to give them okay and that land was what the land of the Canaanites okay which which would be the Israelites land okay they would have to destroy all these people right here okay so let's go back let's see where was that Okay, it says, but they and our fathers dealt proudly and hardened their necks and hearkened not to that commandments. Right, so Israel has a, a history of, you know, seeing miracles and, and still, you know, being proud and hardening their necks and hearkening not unto the commandments and refused to obey. Neither were mindful of thy wonders that thou didst among them, but hardened their necks. Okay. And in the rebellion appointed a captain to return to their bondage, but thou art a power ready to pardon gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness and forsookest them not you see how about shy he made a, a covenant okay with abraham isaac and jacob to be their power okay and to give them a land the land of israel and we're going to go back to that land okay but look at what our our what does it say here but they and our forefathers dealt proudly you know israel always has a a, a, a history of dealing uh, proudly but we shouldn't we shouldn't be like that let's see this is hebrews 3 and 8 it says harden not your hearts seven wherefore as the holy spirit say it today if ye will hear his voice harden not your hearts as in the provocation in the day of temptation in the wilderness when your fathers tempted me proved me and saw my works 40 years right they, they proved Yahweh Shai, they tempted him. So the Lord, he made them uh, go out in the wilderness after they left Egypt 40 years. Wherefore, I was grieved with that generation, right? That generation, okay? And said, they do always err in their heart. They have not known my ways. So it, I swear in my wrath, they shall not enter into my rest, right? And that, that generation died off and their children, okay? They were, I think, 20 years of age and lower. They were able to go into that, um into the that land okay the land of canaan let's go back so harden not your hearts man let's go back you know we have to be able to be to be taught to be molded you know it says it says but thou art a power ready to pardon gracious and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness and forsookest them not yea Yea, when they had made them a molten calf and said, this is thy power that brought thee up out of Egypt and had wrought great provocations, right? They even made a calf and they said, this is the God that brought us out of Egypt. And they provoked Yahweh by Shemi al Shai. It says, yet thou in thy manifold mercies forsookest them not in the wilderness. The pillar of the cloud departed not from them by day to lead them in the way, neither the pillar of fire by night to shew them light and the way wherein they should go. You see? So the, the Lord was always there for Israel. He's always there, you know. And he's going to be there for his elect in, in, this, in this wilderness that we're going to go through. You know, the scriptures say we should, we, we, you know, we, we, we're like pilgrims on the earth. Okay. If we're the elect, we're just stopping by here, you know. This is not, this is not our, 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 our rest, you know. And the chariots are going to come back to lead us out of out of this destruction okay because there's going to come a time where we're going to flee you know these 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 edomites that have taken us into in their hand okay that they want to destroy all of israel and they'll destroy their own you know just to get rid of that 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 chosen seed okay let's see what does it say here numbers 20 and 11 oh this is the scripture that speaks about moses smiting the rock numbers 20 and 11 let's go back i wrote it down as a precept 
But let's go back to uh, Nehemiah. Where is it at? Where'd you go? There you go. Nehemiah 9. And I'm going to continue. Thou gavest also thy good spirit to instruct them, and withheldest not thy manna from their mouth, and gavest them water for their thirst. Yet forty years didst thou sustain them in the wilderness, so that they lacked nothing. Their clothes waxed not old, and their feet swelled not. You see? When they came out of Egypt, the Heavenly Father was there. You know? And, and, and this is spiritually Sodom and Egypt, America. Okay? And we're going to have to flee. You know? And it's going to be like a, the wilderness all over again. But the Lord's going to save us. Okay? That's why we have to go to these scriptures, man. You know? If the Lord gave us manna in the middle of the desert because they said you know did did the most high bring us out of the desert out of egypt to die in the desert with no food no water for our cattle for nothing you know but nah he, he gave them he gave them what manna and he gave them water okay so how much more now the heavenly father is going to do miracles man okay so that we we must harden our harden out our hearts like that generation did okay it says, Moreover, thou gavest them kingdoms and nations, and didst divide them into corners. So they possessed the land of Sihon, and the land of king of Heshban, and the land of Og, king of Bashan. Their children also multipliest thou as the stars of heaven, and broughtest them into the land, concerning which thou hast promised to their fathers that they should go in to possess it. And that was Israel. They took it out of the land, the, hand of the, the Canaanites, okay, and all the nations that were in that land. So the children went in and possessed the land, and thou subduest before them the inhabitants of the land of the Canaanites, and gavest them into their hands with their kings and the people of the land, that they might do with them as they would. And they took strong cities and a fat land, and possessed houses full of all goods, wells digged, vineyards, and olive yards, and fruit trees in abundance. So they did eat, and were filled, and became fat, and delighted themselves in thy great goodness. See, so they took strong cities that were already, they were already decked out, they were already inhabited. Okay, they took over. Nevertheless, they were disobedient and rebelled against thee and cast thy law behind their backs. And that's what happens sometimes when, when Israel gets, you know, the, the, the fat of the land. When they're doing good, they forget Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. But we must not forget. And cast thy law behind their backs and slew thy prophets, which testified against them to turn them to thee. And they wrought great provocations. And Israel, you know, what did Yahweh Shai said? Oh, Jerusalem, thou that thou this killest the prophets, man. You know, therefore thou deliverest them into the hand of their enemies who vexed them. And in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. And according to thy manifold mercies, thou gavest them saviors who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. Right. There was many saviors that the heavenly father sent. He always raised up a man to, to save uh, Israel. He always raised up prophets. Just like in these days, the Lord raised up prophets of great millstone to bring back the, 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 the believers throughout the world. You see? By way of this YouTube, man. It's a spiritual thing. But after they had rest, they did evil again before thee. Therefore leftest thou them in the hand of their enemies, so that they had the dominion over them. Right, and we're, they have the dominion over us now. Yet when they returned and cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven, and many times didst thou deliver them according to thy mercies. You see? When they returned and cried unto thee, thou heardest them from heaven. Right. Or like a woman in travail crying to her husband, man. That's the most high. And many times that thou did this thou deliver them, you see, and testify against them that thou mightest bring them again unto thy law. You see? So the Heavenly Father's always chastising us to get us and bring us back to the law, statutes, and commandments. Let's see what this word testify. Strong's H fifty seven forty nine. Wide. It says to return, repeat, go about, do again, to surround, go around and around, to restore, you see, relieve, to be restored, to bear witness, right? The, 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 what did the prophets always say? Thus say Yahweh thy power, right? To bear witness, say again and again, right? Always teaching what happened, even back, the scriptures always refer back to what? To Moses even. Testify, bear witness, to cause to testify, take or call as witness, invoke. 
to protest, affirm solemnly, warn, exhort, or enjoin solemnly, solemnly admonish, charge, to protest, give warning. You see? And testifiest against them that thou mightest bring them again unto thy law, yet they dealt proudly and hearken not unto thy commandments, but sinned against thy judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. You see? And our people don't know because they're proud and they hearken not unto the commandments, man. Okay? But sinned against thy judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them. So our people don't know why they don't prosper. It's because you don't hearken unto the law. Okay? The, 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 the commandments, the statutes, the judgments of, of your power, your God. Okay? Which if you did them, you shall live in them. And withdrew their, the shoulder. You see, they withdrew the shoulder, man. They turned, they, 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 they withdrew the shoulder. They moved out the way and hardened their neck and would not hear. Yet many years didst thou forbear them and testifiest against them by the Spirit in thy prophets. Yet would they not give ear. Therefore gavest thou them into the hand of the people of the lands. Right, we're scattered all across the world. Okay? And, and many different captivities by many different nations. Okay, the heathen. Because there is a heathen. The Lord created a, he, uh, a heathen people, the heathen peoples, the heathen nations, but the Lord also create, created the nation of Israel, which are the chosen. And out of the chosen, there is an elect. Okay? And the Lord testifies against all the people. Okay? M mainly, you know, to, to his own people, you know, that, 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 that there's a judgment for not following the, the, the Lord. Okay? And there's a judgment to the heathens, mainly Esau, Edom, okay? But the Lord's going to deliver us. Nevertheless, for thy great mercy's sake, thou didst not utterly consume them, nor forsake them, for thou art a gracious and merciful power. Now therefore, or our power, the great, the mighty, and the terrible power, who keepest covenant and mercy, let not all the trouble seem little before thee that hath come upon us, right? And that's what we pray. We ask the Lord, you know, look at what's going on to the nation. Let it not seem little. That, okay, that, that have come upon us on our kings, on our princes, and on our priests, and on our prophets, and on our fathers, and on all thy people since the time of the kings of Assyria unto this day, even, even into this day. Howbeit thou art just in all that is brought upon us, for thou hast done right, but we have done wickedly. Okay, so we always have to uh, um, acknowledge what the heavenly, have to follow, how the, that the Heavenly Father has is just in what He's done. For we have done wickedly, right? Because with the, Israel was given the, um, the laws, judgment, statutes, and commandments. Let's see. I guess I could read the rest. Neither have our kings, our princes, our priests, nor our fathers kept thy law, nor hearkened unto thy commandments. Thy testimonies wherewith thou didst testify against them, for they have not served thee in their kingdom. And in thy great goodness thou, thou gavest them, and in the large and fat land which thou gavest before them, neither turned they from their wicked works. You see? They have not even served the heavenly father, okay, in great goodness that he gave them, in large, fat land, okay, they, they didn't turn from their wicked works when the Lord blessed them. Behold, we are servants this day, okay? And for the land that thou gavest unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof and the good thereof, behold, we are servants in it. You see? Even in Israel, what happened? The Israelites were kicked out. Now, we know there's still Israelites over there, but even in, 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 in Israel, the Israelites that are there, they're, 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 they're servants, man. You got, the, you got the, the, the Amalekites over there, you know? harassing them you know right but the heavenly father is going to deliver us this is psalms 106 and 43 just a little bit of history man how we we always have to go into these scriptures man and look and see man that the heavenly father always uh brought us back he always knew how to bring us back man you know even even through chastisements this is 41 you know what? This is 106 and 39. Thus, thus were they defiled with their own works and went a whoring with their own inventions. Therefore was the wrath of Yahweh kindled against his people insomuch that he abhorred his own inheritance. Right? He hated us. And he gave them into the hand of the heathen and, and they that hated them ruled over them. And that's where we find ourselves today. 
we're in the hand of the heathen. And they hate us and they rule over us, man. But the Lord's going to deliver us, man. This is what we need. Deliverance. Their enemies also oppressed them. And they were brought into subjection under their hand. Many times that he delivered them. But they provoked him with their counsel. And were brought low for their iniquity. You see? So, the Heavenly Father is not for all people getting together, man. You know? This, happened, this is happening even unto this day. If you open your eyes and can see... The, the blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans are the biblical Israelites, and they are in captivity even unto this day. Okay, and they're brought low for what? For their iniquity. Nevertheless, he regarded their affliction when he heard their cry, and remembered for them his covenant, and repented according to the multitude of his mercies. Okay, he made them also to be pitied of all those that are that carried them captives. Right, because you know even in our captivity, you know they want to be like us. They, you know, they so-called want to, you know, say sorry for what happened and, and all that. But hey, hey, the, the damage is done. Save us, O Yahweh, our power, and gather us from among the heathen to give thanks unto thy holy name and to triumph in thy praise. Blessed be Yahweh, thy power of Israel for everlasting to everlasting. And let all the people say amen. Praise ye Yahweh. You see? Let's go here. A couple more scriptures. Psalms 136 and 24. And he hath redeemed us from our enemies for his mercy and doeth forever. You see? He's redeeming us even now. Let's go back to Psalms 97 and 10. It says, Ye that, lo that love Yahweh hate evil. He preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivered them out of the hand of the wicked. You see? Out of the hand of the wicked. You know what? It's faster to just do this. This is Psalms 37 and 40, right? He's going to redeem us out of the hand of what? These Edomites. The wicked is given to the, the earth is given to the hand of the wicked. And Yahweh shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked and save them because they trust in him. You see? We trust in Yahweh by Shimei Shai. We trust in the prophecies, man. We try to cleave unto the Lord in these last days. Because this devil, you know, these these heathen have always hated us, man. You know, and we went into captivity because these devils don't, you know, the Lord set it up like that for our iniquity. Because we, we we committed iniquity and he hated us. So he had to chastise us. This is Psalm 68 and 20. He that is our power is the power of salvation. And unto the Most High, Yahweh, belong the issues from death. You see? But the Most High shall wound the head of his enemies and the hairy scalp of such as one as goeth on still in his trespasses. You see? The Lord's going to kill all his enemies. He's going to deal with them. To him belong the issues from death. He is the power of our salvation nonetheless. One more scripture and I'm going to end it out. Right? Because there's a great judgment coming upon the enemies of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. This is Psalms 138 and 7. I'm going to end it out on this. It says, Though I walk in the midst of trouble, thou wilt revive me. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of mine enemies, and the right hand, and thy right hand shall save me. You see? So I just wanted to bring that out, man. You know, a little bit of a history and, and, and some scriptures on how the Heavenly Father is going to, you know, deliver those that trust in Him, those who who, who remember, you know, their ways. The Lord has visited His people, man. He's, he's poured the Spirit upon that remnant. Lord willing, you know, we be those men. I must end it. You know what? One more. This is Luke 1 and 68. Blessed be Yahweh, thy power of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people, and hath raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. That horn of salvation, that's yes, Yahweh Shai. He came from the house of David. David was his father. And he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began, that we should be saved from our enemies and from the hand of all that hate us, to perform the mercy promised to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. The oath which he has sware to our father Abraham, that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies might serve him without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all the days of our life. So Lord willingness was edifying. The Lord's going to save us, man. 
okay? He saved us in the ancient world, he, he, you know, he raised up prophets, he's always been there, you know, it, chastisements come when the Lord, when you come back to the Heavenly Father, he always brings it to you, you know, brings it to, back to your remembrance, he, you know, if you're part of the elect, he'll always show you where you go off, okay? But it's it's for salvation, and, and we don't always see what the Heavenly Father's doing, because he has a great plan, but the scriptures tell you in Jeremiah that he shall chastise us, um, in measure, you know, so we have to keep on enduring, you know, we're in the, we're still in the hand of our enemies even unto this day, but the Lord is going to save us, so Lord willing, this is edifying, I want to say Shalom.